Hello everyone, this is Maria, the Unexpected Crafter, and I wanted to show, uh, share with you uh, how I do my clouds on the cards that I make. I've been asked many times how I make them, so I have shown it before, but I'm going to show it again. And um, just to show you how I do them real quick. Uh, so this is some of the cards that I've done for Sasayaki glitter stamps, and you can see uh, how pretty they look. And this one is one, the clouds are a little more, more subtle, but you can see them there, and they can be done for so many ways. This one as well, and also uh, this one here. So I'm going to show you how I make those clouds. I normally just color the image first, and then I go very carefully over the image uh, with my template that I'm going to show you and I do the background on the clouds But you can also do the background first and then if you want to cut and paste you can do that as well But my, the usual technique that I do this is I color the image the scenery first and then I do the clouds So I'm going to show you and you can do this in many shapes This is a round one that I had already started and I will show you how and this is even a texture Cardstock that you can also use if you want it doesn't have to be flat or smooth surface I should say uh, so here is a shape that I have it could be used like this or like that so I am going to show you how I would do it as you do it the landscape side and this is a template that I have I just did this myself I printed it out and I cut cut it and then uh, this is what I use for my clouds and then I use my color and I love tumble glass for cloud for clouds or to create the sky and I just have this little spongy thing that goes with the Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink a sponge app, um, applicator. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm sure you've seen it. So what I do is I go ahead and get ink on my sponge. And you can use any sponge as long as you can control it. Oh, and I like to cover my surface with this. And this is also by Tim Holtz, and this is just like a vinyl mat that you could use to protect your working area so you don't get ink all over your, your table. So what I do is you have to decide how you want to position the clouds, and I usually start in an angle, and I just go ahead and just from here up, I brush up the ink into the cardstock onto the cardstock so and then I go ahead and remove it and there you go you have those cute clouds let me see if I can make it a little bigger so you can see and then you just play around with it you put more ink on your sponge and then you play around with it and see how you want the rest of the clouds to look so then I position it the way I want it and I just brush from here on off the card or off the template, I'm sorry, into the card. And there's my first row. So you can play around it and see how you want the clouds to look. So I could probably go like that. And it's entirely up to you how you want the clouds to look. And you can get more ink if you need it, but just be careful not to put too, too much. Otherwise, and there you go, so then you keep going until you're happy with the way the clouds are looking for you. And you can do as many rows as you want, but you have to be careful not to overdo it. And there's a couple of, see how pretty that looks? I just love how it looks after you're done. And again, if you wanna use like a round shape, you can do that, it doesn't have to be smooth surface this one has like a little bit of a texture on it and you do the same thing you just place a template the way you want it um, so you see you want to go in a different direction you can want to connect the clouds but let's just go and you can go off the paper there and again you follow the same procedure you just keep sponging and there you go and then you can connect the other side well and it may take a little practice but you know 
it's not really that difficult to do and then you have this beautiful cloud background for any of the projects that you make and again I'll show you again some of the cards and and once you're done you can just uh, use a um, you can use a baby wipe and clean your surface if you have any ink on your mat and let it dry up and even if you get any on your surface here you can also wipe it off and then wipe your fingers because you don't want to get ink on your card so then again here's one shape and it could be done this way it could be square it doesn't matter it's just how you place your template or the circle and again this is a template that I have you can probably look up online there's a lot of drawings of clouds and you can just print it out and make your own template and of course a little sponge from uh, Tim Holtz and as well as this, this is my favorite color tumble glass for clouds and let me again show you some of the cards with the clouds so you can see how pretty that looks it gives you such a nice background for anything anything that you make anything and this is my last one I hope that you like my video I know it was a very short video but I've been wanting to do um, and I've been asked if I could share how I do my clouds and I'm not the only one that does them this way there's a lot of people that do their clouds this way but I guess um, you know you have to stumble on them if someone is making them so that you can see how they make them but that's how I make them so I hope that helps you and I would love to see what you make and if you like this video, please go ahead and click on the like button and subscribe to um, Sasayaki Glitter Stamps YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.